Yo, is everybody saying hi? Hello to you. Thank you for joining me. Uh, this is my new art magazine. I'm going to open it up and show it to you very soon. Ah, oh, man, this is cool. Play Madden. Yeah, that would be fun. Uh, no, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to sign a hundred copies of this magazine and I'm going to send them out and anybody can get this. Just got to go to this Patreon. We just started this today and one of the perks of getting the uh, getting in on the memberships is I'll send a copy of this to your house. So right now I'm going to turn this into a limited edition of 100 copies. Get the whole box over here and I'm going to sign them and send them out to members. So you can click the join button or you can uh, click and view on YouTube so I can see the uh, the live stream. But how are you all doing? How's it, do how's it going out there with everybody? Oh, just checking in on y'all. Beloved Benton in the house. Yeah, I'm just clicking view on YouTube so I could just check the stream and watch the live chat and see you all. And uh, now I can say, look up. Yo. All right, cool. So let's uh, get to work here, shall we? Okay, so as I've said before, the members who are currently members on the uh, YouTube channel here are going to get first crack at this. They'll get the earlier numbers. And then uh, members who sign up now will get the next uh, little batch of numbers. And after that, uh, we'll send them out to people as they join. So we've got 100 copies of this book. This isn't 100, but you get the idea. I got a whole big box of them right here. And let's just uh, start, shall we? I'll move my personal copy out of the way. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm being a little bit devious about it. I've got black Sharpies. I'm going to sign in this black space up here so that you have to hold it in the light a certain way to see it. So here we go with the very first one. Okay. Zero, one of 100. That's showing up nice. Good. Signed. Okay. There's number one. I always keep number one. So next, who's going to get number two? One of our members is going to get number two. You know what I didn't do is I forgot to show you guys inside the magazine. So when you get my magazine, this is uh, this has got art from the YouTube channel as well as private sketches that nobody was ever going to see and art pieces that I put on social media. So you open it up and you get a little, that's all handwritten. Everything in this is done by hand. Self-portrait oh, here. Some words to help you live by. This is important stuff. Superhero page. This one says the food page. These are the teeny tiny little monsters I've been drawing for years. I've got a giant document filled with thousands of them. In it, and I'm basically going to be 10 feet tall by 10 feet tall square when I'm done with it. This page is a lot of fun. My bootleg Mickey's collection. The meditating man, third eye lady. And then the back page. Again, this is all handwritten, hand done, and uh, I'll let, you'll be able to read it when you get your copy. So there's number two, signed. Uh, I didn't think about where to put these aside when I'm done. Okay, here we go with number three. Now this is what I used to do back in the day when I was making my own comic books and uh, then I'd go out and sell them in the street 
So when it got to the point where I was having like release parties and whatnot, like I'd book a, a nightclub and a bunch of bands and have the, uh, the release of the new issue. And it was a lot of fun. And uh, I'd always do like the new comic book that I would make would always be like, this like limited edition thing. Beloved Benton, James Trainum, and Irish Lover 7745. You guys are all awesome, and uh, thanks for joining me for this live. Alright. So, Irish Lover and Beloved Benton, you guys are already members, so you guys already have copies of this coming your way. And anybody else who wants a copy of this magazine. Double O seven. Yeah, taking it back to the old school. Zero zero eight. Uh, Irish Lover and Beloved Benton. Aw, oh, Danny Klubsch in the house. How you doing? So this is a membership perk for members. Everybody who's a member, if you've confirmed your address, you got one of these coming in the mail. See what I'm doing is I'm making so you have to like hold it in the light a certain way to be able to see the black ink on the black background. So there's 10. I've got my number one set aside. So as people who are late to the game later down the road in months and years to come, you know, they sign up for membership and they get the magazine, but it's like the sixth or seventh one that we've done, um, they'll be able to get this because they'll have it for sale. It'll probably be really expensive to get a back issue because there'll be so few of them, but they won't get like the signed numbered limited edition one. The limited edition of 100 signed and numbered, that's just like once they're gone, they're gone. Okay, so that's... They're all bundled in these little kind of plastic wrapped bundles of 20. And before I unwrap another bundle, I'll show you the magazine one more time. All right, this is all hand done, hand lettering. My hand lettering is one of the things I'm most proud of as an artist, like as a visual artist. I almost wish like, sometimes that like, how can I get like corporations to pay me $100,000 to do a uh, you know, 16 page art pamphlet like this. But then again, do I want to do like, you know, one of these themed around Pepsi or do I want to do it around my art? Right? So this is my little proof copy. I'm not signing this one. But I gotta pop this plastic open. Come on. There we go. So I guess what I could do since, uh, Instead of throwing the signed copies on the chair over there, I can put the bundles on the chair over there. And as I'm signing them, put them back in this box. There we go. Perfect. And here's a bundle of 10 right here. Sign numbered, ready to go. So these are going to be going out to members. The rest are going to be going out to like VIPs. Okay, so these are the new ones that don't have numbers yet, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Good, we're good. Okay, so here we continue on with zero, one, two. So I'm looking up at the chat between between copies. Got to get the Molly Pokemon. Yeah, you know it. James Trainham, are you a member yet? I don't see the logo beside your name, so you should uh, you should become a member and you can get one. Lucky 13. Who's getting Lucky 13? I'm trying to think to back in the day how much attention I, how much attention I paid to oh, beloved Benton with the super chat. Yo, thank you so much. That's another way to get one of these is if anybody wanted to put in a super chat of like $20 or more. If you didn't want to become a member, you just want to do like a one-time purchase kind of deal, then uh, yeah, we could work that out uh, for a super chat of $20 or more, but beloved Benton is already a member, so thank you for that. So it's just on number 13. Yeah, so now I'm on number 14. Here comes them. Who wants number 15? Yeah, so I don't remember how much attention I paid to who got what number. I think I kind of mixed them all up and uh, tried to randomize it as best as I could. I almost did this in a limited edition of 500. That took a long, there we go, a whole couple of days, couple of evenings work. Are you guys able to hear the sound of the marker on the paper? Because if you can, this is some good ASMR. Joel, uh, Danny, if you're still around, uh, Joel's wanting to know what um, role you like better, Black Widow or Black Cat. Now, homeboy, you would know this if you've seen our Q&A video from a couple of weeks ago. Here comes 20 of One fifth of the way there. Now, a new video did not go up tonight, friends, because we're put doing this tonight, and tomorrow there will be a new video in the morning. that Q&A and you will understand all the secrets of the universe explained by us. Danny, why don't you tell us how your uh, time was on the on a set of the project you were working on? What I need to do the next time I do one of these is to have a guest <laughs> to chat with. That it's not just me signing. But this is very on the fly experimental. Oh, the other question, and the people who are in the chat right now, um, you would really be the best people to ask about this. 
Um, what should we call this? Because I've been recalling it an art magazine, but I mean, it's not a comic book, right? Originally, I was going to call it a sketchbook. In fact, in this text here, I call it a sketchbook. But it's not really a sketchbook because like, this, it doesn't look like sketches, right? Um, it's kind of a digital sketchbook, but like, so is it a magazine? Is it a chronicle? Is it a art book? Like, yeah, help me out. What should I call this? I gotta know. Zero, two, five. We're a quarter of the way there. Joel says that my signature role is either Joker or Iron Man. <laughs> that would definitely be the case. When I was a kid, I really wanted to be um, uh, Lex Luthor in a movie. Like when I was a little, little kid, I wanted to be Superman. But um, I realized I don't have a job for Superman, so I thought maybe I could be a good Lex Luthor. So if they ever make a Superman movie and need a new, new Lex Luthor, it should be me. And I really miss doing this at Comic Cons. Pour out a little liquor for everybody who uh, ain't able to go to Comic Cons these days. Ah. So that was 028. So here comes 029. Later on, we should have a contest. Uh, <laughs> how many times did I draw zero before I did the one of 100 and had to go back and fill it in? <laughs> so here's 030. We are 30% of the way through. So back in the day when I used to like to make my comics that I would go out and sell on the street, Part of the little ritual of when I got a new one is that I would uh, roll a joint and line up all my old issues in a big line side by side and then light it up as they're all laid out except for the new one and then have this kind of make a ritual of laying the new comic book in line with the old, all the back issues. And I was kind of like welcome, welcoming it to the family. I was opening up another one of these plastic wrapped packs of books. So 031 in the box. 032. Do either me or Danny have a TikTok? Uh, no, beloved Ben. I mean, I don't. I think Danny might, but neither one of us is really active on TikTok. It just seems to me like there's a whole another job I would have to take on to go get good at yet another video platform. It's interesting how many members still have not confirmed their address. About one third of the members that we have have confirmed their address. So right now, we have an opportunity for somebody to be the very first Patreon follower. I mean, I haven't looked since this live stream started, but when it's, it's open to today, so. 
to my knowledge, there's no patrons on it yet. So somebody in this live stream, in this chat, could be the first patron at patreon.com. See me doing all this hand numbering and hand signing to make every single one of these a unique hand done work of art. And if you just join us, I gotta show you like this. Every single page of this thing is done by hand. There's no computer lettering, no computer fonts, no computer nothing. It's drawn like digitally, like on an iPad Pro with an Apple pencil. This Apple pencil that has my name on it. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, everything in it is drawn by hand, done by hand, lettered by hand. Um, and this is one of the most fun things I've done in a long time. And so what I'm doing is when it comes to members and this Patreon is I'm going to do three or four of these a year, kind of like a seasonal thing. And it'll always have new art from recent, you know, car cartoon and animation videos and sketchbook pages and little one-off things that I just did for fun that I didn't know anyone would ever see. And in these... in these pages where I like write a whole bunch, right, all done by hand, like I get real personal and really introspective in these pieces. It's also in the front cover here. hear that beep in the background that's my dishwasher because I'm at home not the studio because I'm a dad and I had to come home hours ago for the baby Batman the anime series and really want to be the Joker. to send these out. This is the stuff that I live for. Making stickers and, and cards and collectibles and stuff like that. That's uh, that's always been my favorite part of the job is making the fun little collectibles. Like when I was making the comic books and selling them on the street. I know I talk about that a lot but it was just like such a huge part of my life and just so you know carved out the whole thing about who I am even right now. Um, but when I was doing that back in the day, one of the big things was uh, it wasn't like I wanted to get rich or I had a certain amount of money I wanted to make or anything like that. The goal was just that like, I wanted to get to a point where I could be reasonably assured everybody in the, in the city, if they didn't have a copy of it, of it in their house, they knew somebody who did. And uh, I really felt like I got to that point. Ooh, this is 49, the next one is half 
way. Oh, five, oh. Nice. Well, let's just keep going. Now I gotta open up another one of them plastic packs. Just 20 copies to a plastic pack. Irish lover, too old to be cosplaying. There's no such thing as too old to be cosplaying. People cosplay at in every age. You ever been to Comic Con, bro? There's people cosplaying in their in their like elderly years. Cesar Romero, Joel, Cesar Romero is the best Joker. Yeah, the other ones are like an interesting take on the Joker, but Cesar Romero is like the purest one when it comes to like what the Joker was in the comics, especially at the time that that show came out. I've got the um, box set on my shelf right behind me of uh, the entire Batman 60s, every season of it, the big box set that had the whole show. So Irish Lover, if you're still in the chat, um, I saw recently where you said that you are retired from uh, the military. So tell us a little bit more about what that's about. Like you're actually like out of it for good? Like uh, what are you doing with your time now? Um, yeah, what happens next for you? nine getting there here we go 60% of the way done Uh, beloved Benton asking if I've been watching WandaVision. Yo, we are uh, all caught up. We just watched the new issue, new issue, the new uh, episode just tonight. Medical retired, so now I'm just a keyboard cowboy. So, so what do you do? Like, do you have to like go get like a regular people job now, or like are you just like retired, retired, or like what uh, what's next for you? Uh, Joel's asking I should try doing an Adam West style skit. Yo, dude, part of the reason why I want to get in shape is so that I can do that costume. 
rock. I would rock it. Rock the H out of it. Okay. One of my dream projects to do, like as a filmmaker, as an entertainment business person, is to uh, do a new version, like a new movie, with that 60s version of the Batman characters, and like with modern stunts and modern special effects. That's been a thing that I would love to be involved with for... I thought of that for a long time. Like I'm picturing the, that version of a Batmobile doing big, you know, Fast and Furious style stunts. I'm picturing the Batcopter doing barrel rolls. Yeah, if I could write and direct something like that. My other dream project is uh, the Beatles cartoon movie, Yellow Submarine. Because Robert Zemeckis was going to direct that movie and then it got cancelled because those other uh, animated movies that he was doing with the motion capture didn't do as well so Disney got cold feet and pulled the plug but then I got thinking like okay you don't want to do it in that style but that doesn't mean you can't do it at all or can't do it with somebody else so it's like that project is sitting in the drawer in somebody's office in Hollywood and it's literally just a matter of like Whoever owns those rights to make that movie, pulling it back out of the drawer and dusting it off. That's why it even says on my Twitter bio, one of the things that I list is that I'm the director of the upcoming Yellow Submarine remake. Because that is just something that I want to put out there into the world to manifest it and make it happen that I get to direct or write and direct the remake of the Beatles cartoon Yellow Submarine. I've actually got a project in mind for this YouTube channel. Was going to be called the, the Fantastic Four meets the Beatles, and uh, I was actually starting to make plans to go shoot that in LA because the network that I'm with has a sound stage, and uh, if you're a member of the network, you can book production days and go in there and use it. So I was getting ready to book um, like a solid week of going in there. And, uh, oh, we're 70% uh, of the way through. So I was booking, I was getting ready to book a solid week uh, at that studio in Burbank, California. Oh, now it's all coming back to me. I was getting ready to go to um, the, grand, the grand opening of Avengers Campus at Disneyland last July. And... While I was in California for that, we were gonna like get an apartment. The baby was uh what's the timing with the baby? She wouldn't have been born yet. Either way, I was gonna go for the opening of Avengers Campus, and then of course those plans got canceled when COVID lockdowns began to rule our lives. Danny, have fun filling your cake orders. Thanks for dropping in and checking us out. Danny Klupsch, ladies and gentlemen. Star of the Sean Ward Show. Was that 6-2 or 6-1 I just did? Oh, 7. Oh, I did a 6 on this one. Uh-oh, we have a one-of-a-kind... We have a one-of-a-kind messed up copy. <laughs> that will be a really special one for somebody else.
So yeah, I was going to go to the Avengers Campus Grand Opening at Disneyland in California. And while I was on that trip, I was going to uh, stick around for like an extra couple of weeks and do like a solid week of production in that studio in Burbank. And one of the things I was going to do was this concept. Hold on a second. 075. We're three quarters of the way done, ladies and gentlemen. Exciting stuff. Okay. One of the things I was going to do was this idea to do the Beatles meets the Fantastic Four. And I was going to get ready to make a big um, Galactus costume. And so I was going to have like the, the, the Fantastic Four be like, how do we stop Galactus? And they go in, in, in the Fantastic Car and uh, go into all the same psychedelic places that the Beatles went in Yellow Submarine to go find the Beatles. Because like, you know, music is going to be the only thing that can send Galactus away. And then it ends up that they accidentally send the Blue Meanies from Yellow Submarine, the bad guys in the Yellow Submarine movie, into our world. And then I was going to have this big set piece of Galactus and the chief Blue Meanie fighting each other, like Godzilla costumes, like to make the costumes and then build a miniature city at their feet for them to crush as the chief Blue Meanie and uh, Galactus battle as if it was Godzilla and King Kong. So I'll still make that video someday because it's still too good an idea to not. Oh, zero, eight, zero. We're eighty percent of the way through signing and numbering a limited edition of 100 copies of this magazine. This is my Members Perks magazine. I send it out. If you're a member on the YouTube channel or you join the brand new Patreon, then I send you a copy of this in the mail. Everything in it is hand done. No computer fonts. Nothing. It's all drawn by hand. It's all art from the YouTube channel and stuff that I post on social media and private sketchbook material. Stuff sort of doodled, just a collection of all that kind of stuff. And we continue. Who's your favorite job? Ja, mine's probably Paul McCartney because I relate to his uh, work ethic the most. James says, I love the Fantastic Four. Me too, dude. I especially love the Fantastic Four from the 60s. And that's why I hope, because the Marvel Universe hasn't really done the 60s. They've focused so much on that World War World War II kind of period. Um... But I want to see their take on the 60s, so I hope that when they bring the Fantastic Four into it, it involves some kind of like dimension hopping or time travel or something, so that we can actually see like this MCU version of the 60s. And I think you can also like, that's where you could bring X-Men into it as well, I think. Especially because there's been multiple generations of X-Men. So if you say that the first generation of X-Men was like in the 60s, you could set movies there, and then you have new movies take place in the modern times, and... Like the Watchmen? What do you mean like the Watchmen? Joel, why is Joker in Mortal Kombat? Just for licensing, for the fun of it. There's no logic to it. There's nothing to understand. Now again, people, I tell you, if you want to get one of these magazines, and I assure you that you do, because this is going to be an awesome collectible, and once there's a whole series of them, these first issue ones are going to be coveted okay 15 left to go
feel like my uh, signing is getting looser and loopier as I go. This has been fun. We didn't get a whole lot of people watching, but uh, this has been a really fun hangout. I really enjoyed this. This has been awesome. Okay, so there's 90. We have 10 to go, and I gotta open another one of these plastic packs. Oh, I didn't sign it. I wrote the number, but I didn't sign it. Yay. Plastic pack, gotta open her up. I gotta use my teeth to get it open. Oh, we're gonna get this done. It's gonna be like 11 o'clock. I'm still gonna have a little bit of the night left. Fuzz Killer Garble says, I'm a fan. Yo, if you're a fan, then uh, you wanna get a copy of this. I will send it to your house. Oh, I got no hand fatigue. This is awesome. Yo, so if you are a fan and you are not a member or haven't joined the Patreon, you got to get in there because uh, I'm going to be sending these out to members. Ten left to go. So, I'll tell you a little secret. I was supposed to be doing this with silver Sharpies, but leaving the studio was so much chaos, and I equipment that I needed was not there for reasons I won't even get into. Valerie, I won't even get into those reasons. Valerie, Super Mario Dylan is in the house. What up, dude? Super Mario Dylan, you were saying you were gonna become a member and now would be the time to do it. You can do it here on the YouTube channel, click join, or go over to the Patreon and be my first patron over there. And, you're, and I'll send you a copy of this magazine in the mail, dude. I'm signing and numbering them so that's a limited edition. Every single one of them is one of a kind. So yeah, there was, uh, we were missing some equipment that I needed, and there's just so much chaos getting out of there. Like right now, I'm streaming this with my, with my phone. It's in a little clamp pointing down the table, but I was supposed to have multiple cameras. One camera was going to be on me. There's going to be graphics on the screen. But, you know, it is what it is, and it ended up being fun. We're having a good time, right? I'm just trying to fix this light so it doesn't keep, like, reflecting too crazy on the, uh, on the books. After this, it's five left. Nine, seven. Three left. Two left. Last one. Oh my god, this is crazy. Okay, 100 of 
one hundred. And there it is. That's one hundred signed and numbered copies individually, one by one, and we're done. Joel says, I remember when you said that's cheating, calling Kevin Conroy the best Batman because he didn't work as Keaton or Bale. No, I just meant that it's uh, it's 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 only... Yeah, what's up? Hold on a second. I'm just getting distracted. Super Mario Dillon. So I can get one just for hitting join? Well, you join, join and signing up and paying the money? Yeah, there's a membership perk, bro. So become a member, I send you a perk. You're going to get one of these, a new one, a few times a year. I send out stickers. Anybody who's gotten the stickers, you can... Uh, Tell me what's up with that. Um, thanks, beloved Benton, for the super chat earlier. Uh, this was fun. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I really wish we could have done it a little differently. Next time, I will definitely have a guest so that it's not just watching me writing. <laughs> we'll make more of an event out of it. But uh, as a first go, this was pretty fun. Um, so get ready. I will send you one of these in the mail. If you are a member, be hit, click join down below or go over to Patreon and become my first patron, as far as I know. Um, and uh, other than that, nothing left to do but say good night. Thanks so much to everybody who participated in the chat. And I can't wait to drop these in the mail for everybody. Thanks, everybody, for being a Sean Wardian. Bye.